Good morning, John. Pretty much every video for the last like eight years, I've been sitting here in front of my Narnia poster and my bookshelves. And there's like a broader room in here. I will I will show it to you. If you've been paying attention, you, you've seen some of it, like the background of Project for Awesome. And this is the old Games with Hank set, which I don't use anymore. But now I use it from when I'm doing microscopy. I sit there. And then there's like this whole... There's like a big area of room here that I don't use much. It's mostly just to walk through and to put stuff on the floor. But one thing I've always felt is that this is too open. Like, I want to be in a smaller space. So this is me right before I start to put all of these books in boxes. And I'm feeling a little bit, like, emotional about this, which is silly, of course. But it's a space where many amazing things have happened. And I'm a little worried about having a space that's constructed rather than having it be something that just sort of happened. And I don't think it's gonna feel this way, but I don't want it to feel sterile. Like, I'm the kind of guy who likes to see a couple of beer bottles on the porch. And I guess it's just gonna be a really big change. So I'm just trying to get used to that. I've, of course, planned this in advance. I, this is recorded several weeks ago uh, so that this can happen where I think really hard I hope I gotta like this here it comes Yay! oh my god okay the thing that I love the most is that I could just be in this little corner of my office and I can see where like all the place where I'm gonna throw stuff beyond that but down back in here I can reach everything at once and I can see everything. I've got bins and bins and bins and I got space for more bins if I need them. And I got a lot of desk space and I got a whole wall of stuff here and a whole wall of shelves here. This is my dream. But I also have to show you the rest of the room. So let's start out coming in, coming into the room. This is what you see when you walk in. To your right is a little drum cave where Orin and I can play the drums. Here, we got a whole weird set of shelves and inside this set of shelves is a little microscopy room where I can do my microscopy. Also, I can come in here and turn on a noise machine and turn off the lights and pretend that nothing, including myself, exists. I got a place for my pizza, John Rowe. And I've also got this whole huge wall of shelves. And honestly, this is the first time it's ever been the case for me in my life. I have too many shelves now. Like, I don't have enough stuff to put on my shelves. Here, we have my floating filing cabinet. It not, does not currently have all my file boxes in it, but it will. A thing that no one will care about but me on top of the microscopy shed is some storage space! And then coming in my little nook here, we have like a little bar for running cords and lighting. We have this beautiful set of shelves, which has just lots, everything on this is something that I love. Uh, this actually right here, that is the prototype for this year's Crash Course coin, which you can only see the front of now, because the rest of it is secret. This is a painting from my mom. I think everybody's going to be very excited about what's in here. All the Wi-Fi stuff! You never have to look at it because there's a thing that closes! The map of the realm of Narnia remains! And then people are going to be excited about this if you don't know what this is. This is what's called a French cleat wall. Each one of these lifts off. It's got a little cleat on the back. And you can pop it anywhere on the wall and it's just a shelf now. This thing can be here and I can put this here and then turn that on and then it's a party and then I can move the party to a slightly different location and it's still a party. All of this from the carpet to the floating shelves was designed by an amazing interior decorator named Emily Reyna who I cannot recommend enough if you ever want to do a weird project. I encountered her first on TikTok. I reached out to her I think over a year ago to start work on this project and now it is complete! And all the carpentry and installation and contracting was done by Jack Metcalf, who I knew from like local folks in Missoula. I got so lucky to find that pair of designer willing to do really weird things and carpenter capable of doing really weird things. So this is it. My little happy place. I think I'm gonna do a couple of things to spruce it up over the next few weeks, but man, this could not have gone better. John, I'll see you on Tuesday.